What's up, guys? Welcome to Chief's Chat, episode number 79. And let's get a party going, okay? Let's get the streamers up. Let's get the balloons up. Let's turn up the jams. You know what? Let's just have a dance party. You know, let's just eat some ice cream. Let's just eat some cake, you know? I'm just having a great day. I'm having a fantastic time. I'm just so happy. Because the Chiefs beat the Browns, okay? If you guys didn't watch the game, they did win, okay? 33 to 29 was the final score. I mean, I couldn't be more pumped up. Fantastic game. Overall, I mean, our offense is looking absolutely unstoppable, you know, as they normally do. Especially in the last couple of quarters where it really counts, you know, our offense just balled out. And that's what I like to see. Let's go, man. We won. Gosh, I couldn't be more pumped up about this Chiefs football team. Let's go, man. We got 16 games to go. I think we can do it, okay? 17-0, that's the goal. We're going to do it. Frankly, I think it's just achievable for this Chiefs football team. But let's talk about this game, okay? Let's talk about what exactly happened, okay? We got to talk about it. First things first, okay, I want to give props to this Browns football team. Fantastic job, okay? I'm not going to lie. There were a couple of points in time in which I wanted to rip your guys' throats out because I was frustrated. But overall, okay, we took the victory. So, you know, you guys are fine. I love you guys. Fantastic game. Nick Chubb, wonderful. Uh, Baker Mayfield, doing a great job facilitating that offense. I mean, they were just dissecting our defense all game. But yeah, props to the Browns. Fantastic game. You guys are great. But let's talk about this Chiefs football team, okay? What's going on? I mean, can somebody answer this? I mean, what has happened? How many years in a row has it been? that our defense just has not been able to stop the run. When are we going to get it figured out? I mean, I cannot even tell you guys how many times I've sat down in front of this camera and talked about how much the Chiefs suck at stopping the run. When are we going to figure it out? I, I don't know. I just don't. I mean, every single time we watch a Chiefs game, it seems like there's always a point in which I'm just frustrated. I'm like, why can't we just stop this guy? from running the football. I mean, it's, it's impossible to do, it seems like. What's going on, man? Okay, we got Nick Bolden. This guy's supposed to be a run-stopping machine. You know, Mike Dan is on our team. Okay, he's a fantastic linebacker. You know, what's going on? What's going on with these guys? Willie Gay? I thought this guy was supposed to be good. You know, what's the deal? It's just frustrating. And, and you know, I know. Okay, the Browns, Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, fantastic running backs. I mean, plain and simple, they're just great. But when are we going to figure it out? I, I don't know. I just don't. I mean, I'm getting sick of it. I'm just getting absolutely sick of it. And the secondary wasn't much better. I mean, when are we going to figure out how to cover these guys? I, I don't know. I just don't. You know, it, it doesn't seem like we start playing until the last couple of quarters. And that's all fine and dandy until we lose 9-31 to 31 in the Super Bowl. You know? There's going to be a couple of games in which we need our defense to step up. All right, so that's all I got to say. Okay, that was the ranting part of this video. You can, uh, you know, relax now. I'm not going to be as intense, but I was just upset. Okay, but let's talk about a couple of things that I liked about this Chiefs football team. Of course, the offense. Unstoppable. I mean, frankly, the Browns could not figure out Patrick Mahomes. And that's what you like to see. I mean, uh, another thing, okay, I, I was surprised by this. Clyde Edwards-Alaire was in the game pretty much the entire time. You know, it was different last year. We had kind of a running back committee going on. We had Daryl Williams in there a lot, you know? It was interesting to see. But this year, looks like it's gonna be all Clyde. I think Daryl Williams had one carry. You know, as much as I like Daryl Williams, I, I like what I'm seeing from this Chiefs running game. And you know, I'll be honest, he didn't have the most efficient day, okay? We're still trying to, you know, figure out the offensive line and, you know, at the end of the day, we're a pass first offense. But I still liked what I saw. You know, pretty much every single carry went to Clyde. I love to see it. I mean, this guy, he's getting in some reps. He's a fantastic running back. He's got a lot of potential. I love the way he was running the ball. You know, Clyde Edwards-Alaire is looking like an absolute stud. Definitely a guy you got to pick up in fantasy at this point. I mean, the Chiefs are giving him all the carries. You love to see it, frankly. Just absolutely beautiful to see. And as for the rest of this offense, I mean, as per usual, it's the Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill show. I mean, it's just the way it was. You know, three touchdowns combined between those two players, and I think about 300 yards. You know, Tyreek Hill had close to 200, and Travis Kelsey had about a hundo. I mean, it was looking great. Fantastic. I mean, this Browns secondary. I mean, you could tell. I mean, we were sitting there watching this football game, and almost every single play, they had two deep safeties. And, you know, that's the way to play against the Chiefs. But you know what Patrick Mahomes is going to do when he sees those two deep safeties? Sorry, excuse me, safeties? 
he's just going to ball out. He's a smart quarterback. He's going to find routes. He's going to facilitate the offense, you know, find ways to get these guys a couple of short plays and put them in a good position to score a touchdown. I mean, that's what's going to happen. You know, we did see that one big play. That was, of course, the exception. But other than that, it was a lot of, you know, just, you know, dissecting this defense, just working our way down the field five yards at a time. That's what I like to see from this Chiefs offense. It, it, it's definitely what I wanted to see. I mean, I talked about it, you know, in, in the game preview. I was like, this Chiefs offense, they need to get better at keeping the ball, you know, controlling time of possession. And I talked a lot about that. And we showed here in week one that we can definitely do that. And we didn't even do it. A, we, we didn't even really run the ball a lot when it comes to like you know trying to facilitate the offense like that. You know, it was a, it was a lot of passing, a lot of short plays, a lot of fantastic. You know, Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey getting the getting the ball. You know, turning around, getting a quick ten yards. That's what I like to see. We saw a whole lot of that. And, you know, obviously just one big play with that seventy-five yard touchdown. But other than that, it was just a lot of dink and dunk plays, and that's what I like to see. You know, fantastic. You know, our offense is just so versatile. And now that uh, you know Clyde edwards is getting a lot of carries. I think he's definitely going to add another level to this offense. I mean, it's looking fantastic. I mean, I could go on for days about how awesome this offense is, you know, frankly. So, you know what? I mean, that's really all I got to say about what exactly happened in this football game. You know, fantastic offense, looking great. Defense, shaky, obviously, but we stepped it up when we, when we needed them to, which is usually what happens. But like I said, I mean, there's just going to be a couple of games in which we need them to play very, very good. And I'm not sure that they're going to be able to do that. You know, it's tough to say, but I'm just not sure about that. Okay, and then the last thing I want to talk about, okay? I think it was the first, second, maybe third play of the game. I don't know. It was very, very early in the game. You know, it was the first, uh, it was one of the first plays of the Chiefs drive, okay? The Browns went down the field, scored, Chiefs got the ball back, and in the, thir in the first few plays, okay, I'm not sure what his name is. You know, I I'm just not. Uh, but this guy, I mean, he tackled Clyde Edwards-Alaire near the sideline. You know, that's all fine and dandy. But then he steps on Clyde Edwards-Alaire. I mean, he steps on his groin. I mean, of all places to step, he steps right there on his groin. And then what happens, okay? The Chiefs running back coach walks up and he's like, Hey man, get off of my running back. So he shoves the player back, as any good coach would. And then guess what this guy does? He shoves the coach back. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was an absolute shock. I mean, I was like, what's going on, man? And then what happened right after that was the Chiefs got a penalty called for them. I was like, what? They started throwing flags, and then they called the Chiefs for a penalty. I was like, what is happening? And then, of course, Andy Reid was just absolutely heated on the sideline. And upon further inspection, okay, they did end up ejecting this player. But it was just so disrespectful. I mean, I, I cannot even talk enough about that. I mean, what the heck happened? I mean, that was horrible. Just an absolutely horrible act of disrespect towards Clyde was alert. I mean, that was sad. It was just really sad to watch. And then, of course, shoving the coach was the worst part about the whole situation. Why would he do that? The coach, you know, as big and strong as he might be, he's not wearing pads. He's not wearing a helmet like you are. I mean, I'm sure if he was, he would just absolutely deck you and throw you on the ground. But he's not, okay? He's a coach. What a disrespectful act by that player. I mean, it was just sad to see. But, you know, thankfully... The issue got resolved, okay? He was ejected from the game, and that's good to see. Fantastic to see, you know? And I'm sure he's upset right now. You know, there's a chance he cost his team a win, not being on the field. You know, the offense was just playing fantastic. And you know what? I mean, they couldn't afford to lose another guy in the secondary. You need all the help you can get against Patrick Mahomes, and they didn't get all the help they could get because their players were shoving coaches. I mean, that's a problem. Someone's got to look into that. I mean, if I'm, uh, if I'm Kevin Stefanski... You know, I'm giving this guy a, a couple of games on the bench. He's got to learn his lesson, I feel like, you know? But anyway, okay, fantastic game. Took the victory. I'm just pumped up, man. I'm so excited. I love this, you know, I just love this Chiefs football team. Couldn't be more happy. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Chiefs chat, okay? Looking forward to next week against the Ravens, okay? Peace out.